Hello guys, today I have a quick update for your KMH spec with in-depth information regarding the Nighthold raid. As most of you guys know, the tier set bonus for Arcane looks the most interesting out of all three. Together with some juicy relics, we can become an Arcane Missile turret. This video will be shorter as it will only consist of an update of my already existing 715 Arcane Mage guide, for which you can find a link in the description. My previous guide covers most things you guys will need to know, this guide will simply consist of a brief look at our stats, best tier pieces, talents and the minor changes the Nighthold tier set has on our rotation. Our stats will be as follows, Intellect, Crit at 33%, Mastery, Versatility and Haste. For Haste I advise you guys to get somewhere between the 14 and 18%. Mastery is ok for the Arcane Mage as more Mastery means more mana regen and more DPS on spells affected by our Arcane Charges. However, don't go all out on mastery gear. Arcane benefits in my opinion the most from the Nighthold tier set bonus. The two set is sweet, our spells have a 5% chance to activate Arcane missiles. The four set will slightly affect our rotation since casting an Arcane missile will lower the cooldown on evocation by 2 seconds. Owning the four set is heaven for an Arcane mage, especially for people that are having trouble to conserve mana. Talents. Tier 15 Amplification still remains the best pick. Second tier Shimmer or Slipstream, I stick with Slipstream because it gives a lot of mobility. Tier 45 Rune of Power will be the best for the Arcane Mage, however if you're having issues with movement you should go with Encounters Flow. Tier 60 Supernova for heavy ad fights, Charged Up for single target fights, Resonance can also be used depending on the encounter. Tier 75 Chrono Shift. Tier 90 Nerda Tempest for heavy AoE fights and Erosion for single target fights or fights with 2 or 3 adds. The last tier, even with the slight nerf, Overpowered is still performing well. On heavy ad fights I recommend Arcane Orb. Let's get to the final part of the video, the rotation. So the rotation is a bit easier since casting Arcane Missiles reduces the cooldown on evocation. This means that we can burn way much more mana than before we had the tier set. Ideally you want to have 2 or 3 arcane missile procs before casting evocation. Our opener remains the same, pre-pot, pre-cast mark of a lunith, charged up, rune of power, arcane power, presence of mind, drop any arcane missile procs during rune of power and arcane power, keep casting arcane blast till arcane power runs out. Cast your second rune of power, dump any arcane missile procs, dump any procs you might get during rune of power, they have prio. Keep burning with arcane blast, dump any missiles you might get, but I advise you guys to stay around the two arcane missile stacks before casting evocation. That way you can go and reduce the cooldown on evocation right away. The conserve phase remains the same, but remember that you don't want to waste any arcane missile procs. Don't cast arcane blast when you are at 3 arcane missile stacks. Arcane comes down to micromanaging your cooldowns. Sadly, rune of power, arcane power and mark of a lunith don't share the same cooldowns. Getting as many arcane missile procs is key to the arcane mage, but yeah, there is some RNG involved. And this brings us to the end of this update. I hope this video helped you out, feel free to leave me your questions in a comment below should you have some. Don't forget to like and subscribe in order to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.